everyone. Uh, good to be here. Um, yeah, I'm one of the co-founders of, of Wonder. We basically build Web3 community collaboration tools. And um, yeah, we're really excited to, to be here and, and join the community uh, on this call. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Can everyone see the screen? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, we kind of at Wonder are building tools that make it as easy as possible for contributors to start tackling work, um, whether it be like projects or bounties or tasks, while making it as easy as possible for sort of um, sort of operators to make decisions. Um, so basically, like as soon as someone logs in as a contributor, you can see all the orgs you're part of immediately and then you can kind of see like oh these are the things I need to do um, you know we've kind of like fitted a sort of Kanban board to mod uh, to be modified to fit a DAO workflow so you kind of have this idea of like proposals which are kind of like you know feedback and ideas from, from the community um, where people with the right permissions can approve um, these will be exportable to snapshot um, very soon and um, each sort of project or task can kind of have this idea of like submissions, um, which are essentially like units of work uh, tied to a project or a grant. Um, and so, you know, you'll be able to submit like GitHub pull requests, like Figma files, blog posts, whatever. And if there's like a reward tied to it, um, you can actually like make a payment if you have the right permissions and pay it straight from a Gnosis wallet or you can choose to connect a sort of Etherscan link or Block Explorer link um, or a Utopia Labs link. Um, we'll be supporting Parcel very soon as well um, as like one of, one of the payment methods. Uh, but we also know that obviously like as uh, sort of operators of DAOs, like you also want to have a very easy view to make decisions. So we also have like an admin view where like if you kind of have permissions to approve of like proposals and of like submissions to projects and, and tasks, then like you can very easily have a superhuman view of like just you know approving or sending things into revision. Um, but we also have this idea of membership requests where you can look at everyone who's trying to come into your workspace uh, that you can like, easily let in. And then in an individual workspace, you know it gets a little bit um, more interesting as well. Like you can create a bunch of good things. You can create tasks, which are essentially also like projects. Um, you can create milestones, which are like high-level goals um, that your organization might have. A pod, which is kind of like a working group or a sub-DAO or a guild. Um, a bounty, which is kind of like a you know very flexible way of um, basically allowing multiple people to like submit um, bounty submissions. So whether it's like be like bug bounties, writing tweets about you know your organization, or writing blog posts. Um, and then proposal, which we kind of went over, which is like kind of like ideas and feedback to be worked on. Um, I think what makes us a little bit unique is that we have this idea of like very fine-grained roles, permissioning. So you can have um, sort of default roles are like the owners who have all the permissions from like you know adding people to paying people, uh, and then core team, which are like you know a subset of those permissions. You can also edit these as you go. Um, and then a contributor who has like baseline permissions to actually like create proposals and also like take on projects which haven't been assigned. But you can also create like your own um, role, like partner, and maybe you can, like they can like create things on the board very easily. Um, but you can also notice that like these things are token gated, so um, you can actually create token gate rules to a specific role where you know, for example, here if you have one crypto coven, you automatically get the core team role. Um, and you can token gate by like ERC20 tokens or NFTs, whichever one. Uh, and then we also allow for DAOs or orgs to connect multiple wallets to their workspace. So you might have like Harmony wallet, you might have like a test ring fee wallet, you could have like a mainnet wallet. Um, and this basically makes it easy for you to choose which one to pay out of, depending on what you know, chain you want to um, pay out of. And then the payments ledger actually like allows you to aggregate all the payments you have that are outgoing um, and actually batch them, which I will show in a little bit. But it's just like an idea of like you know being able to more efficiently run payroll and things like that. Um, and we kind of discussed a little bit about pods, which are essentially like working groups. 
So you can create very flexible um, pods like engineering, uh, which are functional groups, like project launches, like private alpha launch, for example, or even just around like ideas, um, which uh, you can basically like see the different milestones per organization, uh, per pod. Um, some teams use this as like a sprints kind of feature where you kind of set a due date and you assign like things that need to need to be completed in order to complete this milestone. Um, but more importantly, you can actually like configure uh, your own wallet tied to each sort of um, pod and working group and guild. This makes it easy for budget allocation. And actually you also have like your own set of permissions. So you could be like a core team member on the org level, but actually be an owner of a working group and be a leader uh, of a sub guild. But as mentioned, you can also very easily like do batch pay. So like this lets like sub DAOs to be able to run pretty autonomously and run their own payroll um, without you know utilizing or needing a centralized treasury team. So essentially, like you can see the exact deliverables um, and also be able to pay from your wallet, uh, which basically just kind of batches everything to Gnosis. We support multiple. Uh, Chains are EVM compatible, like Arbitrum, um, Boba Network, Harmony, Polygon, you know, etc. Um, and this basically batches everything up into into one one transaction. On ETH, it will save a bunch of gas, and even on layer twos, it would save like a bunch of time. Uh, and then also, we kind of like have this idea of uh, bounties, as we kind of like showed earlier. Um, so bounties are essentially like you know, uh, very flexible ways to encourage people to do bug reports or tweets. Um, multiple people can submit to these. Uh, and you can also run competitions. You can run like bug bounty competitions or levels. Like you could be like, hey, this is a major bug, this is a minor bug. And you can set like minimum uh, uh, bounties to be paid down. That can be varied. So you can actually change payment amount to make this as flexible as possible. So if it's like a big bounty, big bounty, big bug bounty, you can actually like change the amount to then pay outs, which are essentially like, you know, you can create categories around important documentation. We know that a lot of organizations use Notion, um, but they could also use Google Docs. So this just makes it easy for you to do documentation. Very often people go to like a board and they're like, oh, what's even going on? But with Docs, you can actually get like the highest level um, sort of signal documents to get you onboarded to get some context. Um, and so this makes it easier for organizations to onboard their users as well. Um, and then we also have an idea of profiles, which are essentially, um, you know, basically uh, on each person's profile, you can see the DAOs that they're part of, what pod they're in, and exactly what they've completed recently. So this gives you a better idea of like what this person's actually achieved. You can see their web two credentials, obviously, um, but also it's easy to, uh, you know, basically, who's good for what role. Thank you once again, Andros, for coming through the relationships today. Thank you so much for having us and for setting this up, guys. No problem. Thanks a lot. Y'all do qualify for coordinate for doing these demos and stuff. So probably by the end of this, uh, actually, I'll probably drop the sign-up form in the next couple of days. So new folks too that are reading our notions and attending meetings um, make sure you keep an eye out for the sign up form for coordinate because that's a contribution just taking the time to figure things out <laughs> and we appreciate it amazing love it 